colleagues, I'm absolutely delighted that we're going to start the new year with talking about sustainability and learning. Um, and I've got a fantastic visitor to the Education Alchemist channel with us today. And I'd love to introduce you to Dr. John Scarhill. Now, um, he works at a university I absolutely love in the northwest of Ireland. You must visit sometime and I'm sure John will invite you. Um, it's called the Atlantic Technological University, ATU. You're going to hear more about it and John's sustainability work, I'm sure, in the future. Uh, John's a senior lecturer for NTutor. Persisa are in Galway, Maya. I'm sure you've heard of Galway at least <laughs> um, from everywhere in the world, but we won't sing just now. Um, so I'm going over to you, John. So please just tell us about your work on sustainability, please. Thank you, Judy. And uh, it's great to get an opportunity to uh, share um, my work with you. Um, I'm uh, my, my background is in civil engineering or in mechanical and electrical engineering, and uh, I've worked in the in the engineering field for a number of years, and I've been teaching uh, sustainability and sustainability related construction pro programs in Atlantic Technological University for the last 14 years. Over that time, I've, I've worked on various elements of sustainability, primarily energy emissions and resource management. This perked my interest in the circular economy and uh, the impact that buildings have on the environment. Um, as a result of that, I started to sort of uh, get more interested in the broader field of sustainability. And in the last few years, I have focused on working on sustainability related education and education for sustainable development or ESD as it's known. We've developed a number of programs over the years which focus on, on, on sustainability, such as climate resilience for business, uh, sustainable building technology, greening enterprise skills. We've we, we've worked as a team in the Galway and Mayor campuses on developing these programs. Uh, they've been focused around how you can engage with um, in, in your work and sort of uh, do proactive environmentally positive actions. So there'd be a lot of work on energy organization, energy management, uh, waste uh, minimization, uh, water minimization usage um, and resource optimization. Recently, I've been working on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, or the Global Goals, as they're sometimes called. They're also called the SDGs. They were developed by the United Nations in 2015 as part of their 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. They are 17 global uh, goals, which um, we hope to achieve by the year 2030, which will reduce poverty and hopefully get rid of uh, many of the uh, problems, I suppose, that there are in the world at the, mo at the moment in relation to unsustainable activities, um, poverty, um, emissions, the biodiversity crisis. Um, the the programs that we've developed are in the form of micro-credentials, and also we have developed a number of MOOCs. Um, we've developed a number of Level 9 programs as well in relation to sustainability. So there's, there's a lot going on in ATU in relation to sustainability, and um, we're hoping to expand that in, in the coming years. John, that's so good. Thank you very much for summarising the SDGs, which we've all heard about. But it's absolutely wonderful to hear of the range of work that you can actually do around this. So these uh, programmes that you're developing for students, can you just talk about how Carpe Diem Learning Design actually has assisted you in engaging students? because that's the challenge we're all facing right now. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, there's, there's probably three areas where I, I could say that the framework has helped. Firstly, I suppose it's because um, it's, it's basically a structured design approach. And I think maybe it's partly due to my engineering and science background, but a, a, um, a structured design approach makes it um, very um, easy to, to, to sort of have a target in mind, design what you need and, and um, design under an, uh, an approach and in Carpe Diem there is this focus on structure um, as is one of the main objectives of course is keeping in mind uh, and which of course aligns with constructive alignment which is one of my uh, probably my preferred um, philosophies when it comes to designing programs um, it keeps you focused on what's important and how to align with what you're doing with what you um, obviously ultimately want to achieve which in this case is you know a great student experience 
great student learning and in the case of the SDGs or the Sustainable Development Goals, we want to encourage people to, to learn more about environmental sustainability and the bigger picture, reducing emissions and sort of dealing with the climate crisis that we are currently in. Um, the third point then is there's a focus in Carpe Diem and also in the way that we have developed our programs on collaboration. So peer-to-peer -peer learning, there's a lot of um, opportunity for students when they engage with this program. And these programs are par primarily online they're mainly online there's, there's a little bit of um, lecture impact but there's or input but there's a lot of mainly online so we encourage students to engage with each other and learn from each other and interdisciplinary um, inputs are really important because uh, uh, engineers look at sustainability differently from uh, nursing staff from accountants from sociologists so you get really rich learning when you get people from different backgrounds making different comments on, on, on similar topics. And we have found that to be very effective. And we've got some feedback as well from the students, which I think supports that uh, thesis. Um, it's such a good point that we really develop sustainability through the diversity of those we work with and the collaboration is such a good point. But so tell us then, how have the students responded so far? Uh, well, very well, I think. Um, we've uh, run the programme now. We're on our third cohort. We've started just at the beginning of this week. And we've had some very strong uh, and positive reactions from people. I think they like the fact that it's online. We've made it um, obviously available at any stage so people can study when they actually have time. We've also given them the opportunity to uh, sort of go through the programme with, with a playlist. You can actually uh, obviously, you must read some of the documents, but there are playlist options. So someone who's on the go, they can listen to the course or most of the course on their phone as they go. So that has been very positive. The feedback that we've got from some of the students here. OK, so one student there in advance of the course, I did not feel that I understood or I felt very connected with this SDG. And now I, I have a much better understanding about what it means. Uh, that's SDG 16, Peace, Justice and Strong Institutions. Um, there are 17 SDGs and each one provides a lens through which to look at the sustainability challenges. Peace, Justice and Strong Institutions and the Partnership for the Goals uh, are, are two, are Goal 16 and Goal 17, and they're, they're the very broad. As you can imagine, Peace, Justice and Strong Institutions, um, it, it's kind of, I suppose, hard, un, until you get into the detail of it, it's hard to appreciate how important it is and how much it links uh, all the other goals. So you can see that this student found that... Um, going through this provided that understanding, even though many of the, this is a community worker who was already familiar with some of the elements of the SDGs, they found this uh, sort of uh, exposure to the broader context of it to be very valuable. Um, they also find the fact that in, there's mixed media. We, we use a lot of different types of uh, inputs. So there's reading material, there's audio material, there's visual material. Um, it also, I think in the, it, this student again mentioned that, you know, some people do not believe the climate emergency state or even deny it now. That's probably less common now, but it's it's interesting. And he appreciates that some people are so busy dealing with their day to day lives that it's very hard to focus on what's important in the bigger picture. Um, this feedback here shows the importance of collaboration with other students and people from different backgrounds. So they just say that the discussions with other participants was really good because it was varied and people came from very different backgrounds and very different points of view. Um, this person found that the main change they had since they started this course was the breadth of their learning had mushroomed. Now this person is a professional working in a management consultancy firm and they found that the more they got to know about certain SDGs, the more they could see the linkages and the more they felt, I suppose, in tune with, with uh, what the goals are trying to achieve. So, John, I mean, those examples are, are wonderful. I'm sure you've got many more as well. But, you know, it shows that the impact is going beyond the course. And, and that is a true example of sustainability and the diversity in people influencing and learning from each other um, is, is absolutely wonderful. Um, so where are you going next? I mean, we're recording this in 2024. Um, what what else can we do in terms of learning? Where do you think this will go? Well, our our, our plans at the moment in, in Atlantic Technological University are to sort of uh, make this available to sort of all of our undergraduate students and, and, and our graduates, because we believe that 
people need this sort of no matter what your background is or whatever discipline you're doing you do need this sort of uh, base knowledge of sustainability and uh, a number of us certainly in in, in the um in the sustainability department think that the sdgs are a very good framework for this so we're hoping to push this out we've also got some other programs in relation to sustainability at level nine which tie into our teaching and learning strategy so we've got uh we're, we're hoping to develop uh, a full master's degree in education for sustainability in the coming year um, we already have a number of modules on that which we hope to tie together and sort of link in with our existing uh, masters in teaching and learning so there's lots to be done and um unfortunately not an awful lot of time to do it so we have to keep going <laughs> well well that's about sustainability isn't it i mean we hopefully this is the beginning of something big and i mean i think you've already demonstrated a lot of impact already um so can i say thank you for introducing us to using this kind of structured design approach to have that sort of impact through the students of the future um i'm sure we'll put a lot of links from all your work so people can follow up but can i say thank you very much and i i'll be very keen to see what happens next as well so thank you john thanks for listening everyone see you soon thank you jenny thank you goodbye